Welcome back guys, this is Battle Cattle, and this is another episode of Welcome to WoW, a series devoted to giving new players the crucial information they need to dive deep into the world of Warcraft. This episode is centered around add-ons. What are they, and how can you get them? Add-ons are a feature of World of Warcraft that allows a player to customize their user interface. Many add-ons enhance the features of the default Blizzard UI and can make you more productive as a player. To get started, we're going to go ahead and open up your browser of choice and type in Curse Client. The one I'm going to use is Chrome. Just go in here, Curse Client, in the chat bar, or the, sorry, the uh, address bar up there. Click Enter, and it's going to be the first one up here, mods.curse.com slash client. Click on that one. You're going to go over here and click the download for PC. If you have a Mac, I'm sure there's a install file somewhere for it, but I don't have a Mac. So, um, anyways, this is where you're going to get it. Click on download for PC, it's going to download a setup file, and then it's going to prompt you, after you start the setup file, it's going to prompt you to make an account with Curse. Now, um, the account is completely free, and you can opt out of junk mail. I personally do not get any junk mail from Curse, uh, and I do have a, a, an account with them, so it's, it's legit. Uh, the pro program should automatically find your install of World of Warcraft. Uh, once it does, click on the tab that says Get More Add-ons. So we're going to go down here. There's my install of World of Warcraft and Get More Add-ons right here. We're going to X that out and it's going to have a list of popular add-ons and everything right here. And so uh, we're going to jump right in and talk about all the recommended add-ons. So here's a list of the add-ons that you'll need as a new player. This is just a basic list, um, but you can get a lot more in-depth later. Uh, but for now, we're just going to stick to the basic ones. So the first one is Deadly Boss Mods. This add-on will help you out in boss fights and battlegrounds. Um, it tells you when the boss is about to use an attack or how to, how to counter it. And this is definitely a must for anybody planning to do raids. So... Uh, this is the one that it looks like right here, um, this little dragon picture. You're going to type in over here on Get More Add-ons. You're going to go over here, type in Deadly, or it probably is going to be one of the ones on the top. You're going to download that one. Also, when you type in Deadly here, if I can type it in right, you're going to see all these other ones, Burning Crusade, Cataclysm, Wrath, and Mist. I highly recommend you download all of those because those have all the content for each of those expansions. So if you happen to get into like a Burning Crusade raid or five man dungeon and you don't have this add-on installed, then it won't do anything for you. Uh, this one right here only has the stuff for the most recent expansion in it. So go ahead and download all of those. Make sure they're all from Mystic Gallos and the other dude. Um, so you know that they're from a trustworthy source. Alright, going back here, we're going to go to the next one, is Recount. This one is a damage meter, uh, damage or healing meter. It's a great way to tell how much damage or healing you're doing versus everybody else in your group uh, to kind of tell if you're being useful or if you need to change your gear up or change your rotation up or something like that. So, it looks like, uh, let me clear that out, it's this one right here, second highest one, Recount. It's pretty simple, just click install. And the next one, we're going to go to is bad boy this one unfortunately is a necessary one because spam has kind of become out of control in wow in chat channels uh, there are a lot of chinese gold farmers that they farm gold and then they sell it to people for real money you go on their website and buy gold this is against blizzard's terms of use so do not do it you will get banned um, blizzard has a way of finding out uh how big of a transfer of gold you made with another character and if they look into that and they find out that it's it's an account linked to a gold seller then you're going to get banned and uh it's it's just against blizzard's terms of use so stay away from that download the bad boy add-on it'll block all that spam so you won't see any of those advertisements and then you can see your normal um chat from other players in there so you can you can get right into the game and you don't have to worry about all that stuff uh, so going back over here it looks like a little speech bubble, just like this. Bad boy, spam blocker, and reporter. That's all you need to get. So going back here, just moving right along, we're going to go to Bagnon. This add-on will organize your bags into one easy-to-use window. No more opening different bags and different bag windows and trying to find out where all your items are. Uh, this will just make it in one simple bag viewer. 
So it should be right here on the top of the recommended add-ons, Bagnon right here. All right, so the next uh, group of add-ons that we're going to do is the recommended add-ons. These are not like the must-haves, but I hi highly recommend you get them and play with them, and uh, and they, they will still be some of some use to you. I actually cannot live without Bartender 4, um, but the only reason I say it's just one of the recommended ones is because it does take some customization on your end, and if you're not up for that, then I wouldn't bother messing with it. Just stay with the Blizzard UI. But if you want to organize your bars, your action bars where your buttons are, and make it look all pretty and, and use up less of your screen space, definitely get Bartender 4. And it's over here on one of the uh, recommended ones, Bartender 4 right here. And another one is Postal. This one's a very simple add-on. You don't really have to do anything with it. All it does is add a little button to your mailbox that uh, will allow you to open all of your mail at the same time. So if you bought a bunch of stuff from the auction house, instead of you having to click every single one, you just click the Open All button, and it'll open it all and pull all the stuff into your bags. So this is what it looks like right here. And the very last one that I recommend is Auction Light. Now this is not one of the hardcore auction housing add-ons. You can kind of use it that way, but I wouldn't recommend it using. I wouldn't recommend using it that way. What I would use this for is just basic buying and selling on the auction house. It kind of rearranges the view of the auction house for you, so that it uh, it's not as cluttered, and you know that when you buy something, you're getting the uh, cheapest version of it. Because the regular auction house actually organizes by bid price, uh, but this one you can organize by buy price. Uh, because nobody really puts bids on items on the auction house. Most people just buy out stuff in the auction house. So go ahead and get this out on. It'll just make your buying and selling on the auction house a whole lot easier. If you want to get more in-depth into auction house stuff, I recommend Trade Skill Master. But that is for people who are going to sit down and have a lot of time to focus on this. And it can take away from your time playing the game. So for now, just hop on that auction light and you'll be good to go. Once you have all these add-ons installed, go ahead and start up WoW. Um, also note, if WoW is already running in the background, you have to restart it to make the add-ons appear. So we're going to jump over here, go to um, World of Warcraft, and now in your character selection screen, click the button on the button, sorry, on the bottom left that says add-ons right here. You'll be able to see all the add-ons you have installed. I have quite a few more than you will, uh, but you can add however many you wish. You can customize it to only have certain add-ons available for certain characters, or you can put it on all. I have it on all uh, right now. Also, make sure you check this box right here, load out-of-date add-ons. That means if, if there's an update, like a small little patch to WoW that doesn't really change much, the add-on version will be a little bit different. It might still work perfectly fine. It probably will still work perfectly fine, but if you don't have that box checked, then WoW won't run it. So, um, then if you wish to customize the add-ons in-game, we're going to go ahead and hop in-game here, and I'll show you how to do that real quick. Each add-on has a little uh, command, a slash command that you can put in the chat box that will open it up. But for the most part, most of them have a little feature in the interface panel here that will allow you to customize them. So go ahead and press escape, go to interface. Up here on this top tab, there's add-ons right here. And you can expand all these things and customize them if you wish. Uh, but a lot of times the default version is pretty good for everybody. So I hope this helped you out. Definitely thank you so much for watching this video, um, and I hope to see you in the world of Warcraft. Be sure to check out some of my other videos on the channel, and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, guys.